Hey y'all, I'm Justina the Gorgeous Oracle and I'm back with another update reading. This is, um, I asked what's going on with the karmic and the divine masculine. The beauty about this is we can see what's going on in their lives, but they don't know what's going on in our lives. That's what they ask it. So, with my spiritual insights, with y'all's spiritual insights, they can portray whatever they want on the internet to family, friends, whatever. But here... We know the real. We really know what's going on, okay? But before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? And can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justine and Nicole? Everything will be down in the description bar below. So, y'all, uh, what's going on with the, the karmic and the divine masculine? Strength came out in reverse. Ha <laughs> ha. Two of wands. Three of Wands in reverse. Temperance. And the King of Cups. For the additional messages. Girl with Snake. Addiction. Boat. And karmic relationship. Exactly, bitch. That's that's exactly what you in. A karmic relationship, bitch. How you think you the real divine feminine? How? And then the overall message. Deceit. Exactly. Deceit. Okay? How the fuck you think you divine feminine? So, y'all. Let's jump into it. This is what that bitch get. Um, at first, remember last week in my other reading, the, the karmic was feeling victorious. Can't nobody come between her and her man. Now with the divine masculine, this bitch don't feel strong. She feel like her relationship is failing. She feel like it's no stability in her motherfucking relationship. It's no stability within herself, within the divine masculine, within their so-called union. Since she think she the real divine masculine, bitch, why you not brave? Why are you not courageous? Why your card came out upside down? Uh, why your card upside down? Why the strength card is upside down, okay? This is how this card came out, the first card that came out, okay? So, I feel like this bitch supposed to be in this partnership, but what I'm getting is like she's all alone in this relationship and the reason why i say she's all alone because look at this card this bitch looking out the window why are you looking out the window being sad when you and the divine masculine live together when y'all stay together when you be with him 98 percent of the time because you codependent he codependent they need somebody to be in their presence at all times because they scared to be alone why are you looking at the one? Why are you sad? From this card, I just feel like she feels so alone in this partnership. She doesn't feel like this is a relationship. Um, I'm getting that she's sad. Like, feeling some type of way. Like, damn. I miss when me and Divine Masculine used to travel. I miss when we used to take road trips. I miss the things that we used to do. We not doing this no more. He's not giving me um, the attention that he used to give me anymore. Even though he's in the next room or he's sitting on the couch and I'm right here looking out the window. It still feel like I'm alone. I, it still feel like I don't get no support from this motherfucker. I still feel by myself. And I, I and I took him from divine feminine. So why the fuck do I still feel sad? Why I'm not in my power? I took him from divine feminine. I showed that bitch he don't want you cause you broke. But yet you not you feeling powerless right now. You're not you you don't feel strong about this relationship. You don't feel strong about yourself. You don't feel strong about your relationship, about your union, your twin flame union. Since you think you the real divine feminine, you stupid cuckoo bitch, you bird bitch. This card came out in reverse. So I just feel like she just she feels so alone by herself. I'm getting that. 
with this three of wands to me that's like um partnership doing things together this is in reverse so i feel that it's all about divine masculine like even though it has always been about divine masculine but i feel like now she's being more aware that hey I do always focus on him or I do put more into this relationship than he ever put in or I do always buy him clothes, shoes, give him gas money, give him lunch money and he never gave me nothing back. It has never been an equal give and take, okay? And I feel like she's more aware of his actions. But the thing is that their relationship has always been one-sided. But I just feel like now in this particular moment, she see their relationship for what it is. Which is a fucking joke. And then I have the temperance. I'm getting two messages. I'm getting that the karmic, all she just wants is balance, love, peace, and harmony. That's all she wants. But I feel like the second message I'm getting is, I feel like this is the divine masculine. I feel like the divine masculine is more focused on himself than the karmic or than this relationship. I'm getting that the divine masculine has been trying to like work on his emotions, trying to be spiritual. Or trying to understand spirituality. Trying to understand himself. I feel like the Divine Masculine has been focused on himself. Like even though he's supposed to be in this so-called joke-ass relationship. But it's like he's not showing the karmic any attention. <laughs> like he's not showing her no attention at all. I feel like with this temperance and this king of cups out here, I feel what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that he's trying to focus on how to bring peace and harmony and balance within himself and how to control his emotions and not to be so emotional. Or like him just learning how to exercise his masculine and feminine energies within himself. Yeah, it's like he's trying to tap in into spirituality and like establishing a relationship with himself, but he's not establishing a relationship with his partner. She feel by herself. She feel by herself and powerless, okay? That's how this bitch feel. And they not coming together. Another message I'm getting, I'm getting that even though they're together, but it's still like a distance between them. Like they can be sitting on the, the couch with each other. They can be watching TV together, but it's still like an em emotional distance, bitch. And that's why it's an emotional distance because, bitch, his, his emotions... It's with the divine feminine. The real divine feminine, you stupid bitch. And then I have girl with snake. Listen to this, y'all. And listen to this real carefully and closely. Girl with snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enable boundaries. Bitch, the divine masculine used you for money, Sex, whatever, whatever you could have, whatever you've been doing for, for him and has been doing for him and he benefited from it. That he been using you, bitch. The, the nigga is a narcissist. It's all about him. Y'all, and I even read my additional messages, but I, I said that like he's not, he don't give a fuck about the karmic. It's more about what he, it's all about him, what he can get, what he can gain. It say impact a narcissist paradigm being charmed or used. And bitch, he even used you to make the divine feminine mad, bitch. Addiction. Cold, listen to this. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling. So since the divine masculine 
is a fucking narcissist. The divine masculine could be controlling the karmic, telling her what to do, telling her um how high she can jump. And she could be asking for permission to do stuff. But really deep down, she know like this shit doesn't make her happy, bitch. She feel like a prisoner, a slave, because all she do is cater to him and his needs and his wants. She feel powerless because, bitch, you being used, you don't have a voice. You scared to stand up for yourself. But when it's time for the divine feminine, she can talk about us all she want. But she can't stand up to divine masculine because it's a codependent relationship. Can't be alone. Obsessed over him. Bitch. Receive both. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So I feel like the divine masculine be getting with it. I feel like when they break up and get back together, he get back with her to get what he need. And then he move on and that's when they break up. And then when he come back, it's because he needs something all over again, bitch. Karmic relationship. Bleeding triggers, resentment, lessons, letting go, loving you. Bitch, uh, let go and love you because this nigga always use you for his personal gain, bitch. The, the overall message, deceit. Deceit. Bitch, you thought he loved you. You thought y'all was going to get married. You thought you was going to have his baby. Bitch, he probably told you that so you could continue to keep doing what you've been doing. So you can continue to help him make the divine feminine jealous. But now you know, bitch, all that was deceit. He used you for his personal game, ho. He used you to make the real bitch that he cared about. He used you to make her jealous, bitch. And I'm the real divine masculine. I mean, I'm the real divine feminine. And I'm here to tell you, you're not even, you're not even divine masculine type, bitch. Divine masculine, he like a female that's strong-minded. He like when a bitch tell his ass no and put him in his place. He don't like a yes man. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. What else do you want me to do? Do you want me to cook for you? Do you want me to give you a thousand dollars? What else do you want me to do? You want me to jump? Jump how high? You want me to jump off a building? Okay. Bitch. He don't like that, bitch. He like... Uh, bitches like me talk shit to his ass and put him in his place, bitch. That turns him on. Idiot. And the thing is, the karmic... She's not gonna talk... How I be talking shit? She's not gonna be talking shit to Divine Masculine because she think she gonna lose him. But the thing is, I talk shit to him, and we not together, but guess what? He's still on my nuts. He's still on my nuts sack, okay? He still want to know who, who hitting this. He still want to know who I'm fucking. Not you, idiot. We've been in separation for two and a half years, bitch, and I still argue and fight with my divine masculine because I don't give in to him, bitch. He know for me to fuck with him, he got he gonna have to break me off a, a Louis Vuitton bag with some shoes to match. And he gonna have to move me into a motherfucking two-story house on the lake, bitch. And until he do he can provide that, I would not fuck with Divine Masculine. So that's the difference between us and the karmics, bitch. You don't require nothing from him. I require the world from him. Okay, bitch? But that's what I got, y'all. Thank you. Bye-bye.